I'd like to go through two main barriers that can stop you from improving. Now, a barrier is simply, if this is you improving, that's a barrier. It can stop you improving, right? And it's very serious. Um, the first one is fear of what others think. And it becomes especially important when you start college because it becomes more important to you what others think. Now, the problem with that is, if I use the example of playing football. Now, let's say you play football and initially you're not very good. Now, if you're worried about what others think, if your main target is not to feel bad or not to feel embarrassed, then you're never going to go for the ball. And of course, if you do that, you're never going to improve. Now, not being embarrassed, having that as a primary target, is a very bad thing to have because, again, you never improve. The way you can solve this is to see improvement as more important than the results. Because you may not go for the ball because you're worried that the team, the team is going to lose because of you, right? But the problem with that is, firstly, after half an, hour, half an hour after the match, no one's going to remember who lost or who won anyway. But if you improve, that's going to stay with you forever. Not only that, initially if you're not very good, then the likelihood of your team losing is greater if you go for the ball. Now, if you do that though, and if you improve, you can be the person that makes a difference next time you play. That's how it works. And it's exactly the same in the class. Now, if you're worried about what others are going to think, then that's going to stop you, for example, asking questions in class. You're going to think, oh, what, is everyone going to think that I don't know this? Or, which is not a bad thing, by the way, because most of the time when you ask a question, there's always going to be someone else that has the very same question. Now, again, if you think that maybe you shouldn't take that free lesson to do some work because of what others are going to think, or if you don't want to go to class on time because you don't want to leave your friends or whatever that is, that's the problem. You want to see improvement as your main target always. Now, just to emphasize the point I made earlier about improvement or result as a general standard to have. The reason for that is results sometimes it's out of your hands, especially with exam results, right? Not only that, you only get exam results twice a year. So you're only allowing yourself twice a year to feel good about what you've achieved. But if improvement's in your hand, firstly, you can never fail. Improvement is just learning. You can never fail at that. You can do it 12 months out of the year. Not only that, is completely in your control, right? So just to make a point about that, having that as a standard. Now, if we go back to this, fear of what, what others think. If it stops you from going for the ball, asking the question, that sort of thing, then you need to be aware of it and you need to make sure it doesn't happen to you. The second major barrier that can stop you from improving is the fear of failure. Now, Thomas Edison failed at making a light bulb over a thousand times. But when he was asked, he said, no, I didn't fail over a thousand times. I successfully found over 1,000 ways how not to make a light bulb. And can you see the difference in attitude? Well, it's the same if you work before the exam. Every single mistake you make before the exam and you solve it, that's one less mistake you'll make in the actual exam because you've improved, right? If, we, if you do have a fear of failure and you're driven by results only and you know that if you were to sit a past paper, you'd only get 40 or 50%. That's fear of failure, and you're most likely not going to set that paper because you're going to feel bad, right? But that means you're not improving, especially at the time when you need it most. Now, if we take a student that gets 95%, and it's just 95% sounds pretty good, but leaves it at that and doesn't learn the extra 5%, then in my opinion, they haven't gained a thing because all they've done is written what they've already know, what they already know, so it doesn't make any difference to them. Obviously, practicing, they've had a bit of practice, which is good. But they haven't improved. They haven't. They've, they've missed the chance to improve by the five percent of the things that they didn't know. Now, by that measure, if someone gets sixty percent but improves by forty percent, they've gained a lot more. They've improved by forty percent, right? So, obviously, it's you have to change what you feel as failure. Failure is failure getting sixty percent, or is failure not gaining five percent, not improving five percent, and. You always want to be aware of barriers, such as fear of failure and fear of what others think, right? because it can seriously stop you from improving.